Hi, my name is Harrison Booth. I'm a systems aero major. Uh, I'm involved in the Mountaineering Club, and I'm also a soaring IP, and I'm involved in the 6th Gen Fighter Capstone Program. Hi, my name is Reagan Horn. My focus is human factors, and I'm on the wings of blue. And then my capstone for this year is assistive technology. Hi, everyone. I'm Matt Olson. I'm a systems engineering major with a focus in astro. I'm involved in the Cadet Space Operations Squadron, and my capstone is FalconSat. The Cadet Space Operations Squadron operates the satellites that we build in the capstone. I'm Ryan Rooley. I'm a first year here at the Academy. I'm a systems engineering with a electrical engineering depth. I'm also involved with a club hockey team. Hey y'all, I'm Cadet First Class Sarah Leslie. I'm a SE Human Factors major here at USAFA. I have a Japanese minor. Um, I don't have any clubs or anything, so generally Japanese is my hobby. And I'm on the sixth generation Air Force fighter capstone. Hey guys, I'm Nathan O. I'm a systems engineer with a comp sci focus, and I'm involved in the club handball team and really involved in my Officers Christian Fellowship Inspire Group. Hi, I'm Carl Borbicle. I'm a systems major with a focus in net. Uh, in my spare time, I'm an instructor pilot down at the airfield, and my capstone is radio geolocation. I chose systems engineering because I wanted to look at engineering from a broader perspective and also have an interest in uh, project and program. I chose systems because I didn't know what degree I wanted to get. I know I wanted to be a technical degree, and I felt like it left the most doors open. I switched from Astro to systems engineering because I was more interested in leading a team of engineers through project development, more so than I was interested in uh, focusing in one area of engineering. I chose it because I wanted kind of a mix between um, engineering and more of the management that goes into engineering. I chose systems engineering because I liked that it had a lot of applicability to different depths in engineering. As I told you guys earlier, my focus is comp sci. So I was actually initially thinking about choosing comp sci, but if I did that, I can't be an engineer in the Air Force. So I decided to do systems engineering with a focus in comp sci so that I got that background and I have the possibility of also going um, to become an engineer um, in the Air Force or I can even go cyber. So I get those extra options there. I chose systems engineering because it's super relevant in today's world where pretty much every major system uh, the Air Force is working on is super big and complex and requires a lot of what we're learning. One of my favorite things about systems engineering is the instructors uh, and also some of the opportunities that I've had. For example, uh, I got to use some systems engineering skills with my cadet wing internship with AFSOC over this last summer, working on uh, new devices to put on MC-130s. My favorite part of systems definitely is that it gives me a very broad uh, skill set and I can apply it to a lot of different things out uh, in the Air Force or in the private sector. My favorite part of SE is being able to have the freedom to make my own schedule and develop my own focus area. My favorite part is the faculty are awesome, and then th there's just so many options with the classes you take and so much flexibility with um, like the courses in your field of study. My favorite part of systems engineering is definitely the faculty. They are always available and in their office and eager to discuss topics that I don't understand or just things about life. My favorite part is definitely the opportunities. I got opportunities to travel. I got opportunities to publish a paper. So even as a sophomore, I went to Orlando, Florida to enter a systems engineering conference. One thing I like about the systems major is that as a hopeful pilot in the operational Air Force, the systems major allows me to look at things in different systems in a super high level operational way. My biggest takeaway from systems engineering is just learning how to think like an engineer. That level of problem solving can be applied to literally anything in your life or anything that you could face as a leader in the future. My biggest takeaway definitely is that everything's connected. Um, from the beginning of a project to the end of the project, uh, outside uh, environments, inside uh, environments, like everything's connected. My biggest takeaway from systems engineering is how to develop a system from its inception to, through its retirement. It's also opened my eyes to things I would have never thought about, such as ethical project management.
The biggest takeaway I've gotten from that is kind of being able to do the managerial side, but also being able to actually design systems and be able to see like a product from start to finish. My biggest takeaway is that I can learn more about the design process and I know that it will benefit me later in my career. My biggest takeaway in systems is that literally everything that you can think of, systems applies to that. So any engineering pro project that you'll ever um, see or think of, anything that, even your phone, like there's a whole life cycle that starts from beginning to end and systems engineering is really involved in that. Even dually year, like all of dually year, my, one of the papers that I'm publishing right now is actually talking about how the dually year applies to a V model um, system, which you'll learn actually in systems engineering. So you guys shall sign up. One big takeaway I have from the major is that you use systems engineering concepts uh, in pretty much every kind of engineering project or even in day-to-day -day life, even if you don't know you're using So my capstone, I'm working with the ECE department and we're working on assistive technology. Basically the end goal here is using glasses, we're going to be able to look at a screen. The screen is going to detect my eyes and be able to convert that into controlling the stick. So for quadriplegics who don't really have movement or with their hands and their feet, um, they can be able to move the wheelchair with their eyes. So it's really cool, it's really sick. Um, you get to work on cool stuff like this as a systems engineer. For my capstone, I'm working on designing a system that can geolocate a radio frequency to be used by ground forces in an operational setting. I'm in the Falcon Sky capstone down here in the Astro Lab. Specifically, I'm on the assembly, integration, and testing team. So this is where we do most of our work. This here is our vibe table where we conduct vibration testing on the satellites and their components. Over here, you can see one component test bed for uh, one component that we are currently developing for the next satellite, Falcon Sat 6. Back here we have the Thermotron, which is uh, a thermal environment testing unit uh, so that we can test satellite components uh, to thermal extremes. We're here with uh, Captain Stegman and Haps talking about the SE major. Uh, what year did you graduate, sir? 2012. What job or position do you hold as a now? Currently, I'm the chief of scheduling at the 49th Fighter Training Squadron at Columbus Air Force Base, Mississippi. Well, how has uh, SE helped you in your career? So, base helps me frame my decisions so I can ultimately enhance the schedule availability each day. So I want to make quality of life high and I also want to make effectiveness high. Here was Captain Abrecht, yeah. that's who you graduated? Uh, I was 2014 graduate. What uh, job or position do you hold as of now? So I'm the chief engineer at the Force Space Control Squadron here at Peterson Air Force Base. Uh, how has being an SE major helped you in your career? Yeah, I'd say just it's the mindset. So uh, the, the the toolbox that you have to, to solve problems and the, the mindset you get in as a systems engineering graduate, uh, it's invaluable. So we're here with Captain Grover. Uh, what class year did you graduate? In? Graduated 2012. What job or position do you hold as of now? So I'm stationed at Vance Air Force Base. I'm a T1 flight commander. How's being an SC major helped you in your career so far? So uh, Captain Maber kind of mentioned it, but uh, the biggest thing is the mindset. So the system engineering thinking. Uh, you know, how you employ that as a pilot, um, you know, you have your own systems, there's a multitude of systems in your own aircraft, but then uh, going up up and down the organizational kind of hierarchy, um, how that plays into, you know, I was a C-17 guy before, how it plays in your C-17, how that goes all the way up to the mobility air forces, whatever mission, deployment, operation you're on, um, the system engineering thinking, uh, uh, the mindset you develop here at the academy uh, throughout your couple years at C. Um, that goes throughout your whole career. We are here with Major Couch. What was your class? 2006. Um, what position or job do you hold as of right now? So uh, I did a lot of time flying in the F-15E, about 2,000 hours and five deployments worth, but I am currently in a uh, unique staff job where I get to work on development of advanced technologies as a project manager. So SE has become very useful in that regard. How's being an SE major helped you in your career? What I would say is, for the flying and the things that aren't related to my current job, um, just being able to look at things from a systems perspective, um, it's, it's rarely a single order of effect, so being able to see how pieces and parts 
fit together as a system. So learning that, understanding, having that mental framework, while it may not necessarily apply to engineering, it absolutely applies to other things that you do in the Air Force and operations.